to a kind of a different edition of Frightfully Forgot. We're not going to really cover a single movie today, but we need something quick <laughs> to, to put up this week and talk about some movies that legitimately scared us. So we're going to try to choose two each. And uh, my first one is actually The Fly, uh, the 1986 <laughs> yeah. Fly with Jeff Goldblum. There's something about that movie that was so intriguing, but so terrifying at the same time. Even when it opens up and it's just the opening credits and it's, that music kicks in, it's like, oh, it kind of hits you in the heart, like, oh, right. it's already terrifying. I haven't seen anything yet. Yeah. And then, of course, you know, the whole transformation of Jeff Goldblum into a fly and just the, the whole idea of that and the visual of it is, for me, it fucking scared the shit out of me. And But there's one scene in particular which really kind of used to bug me is the scene where he's in an arm wrestling match after he's eating all those chocolate yeah, bars yeah, he's... and he's you all know, sweating <laughs> and getting all ugly and everything and get locked up in that guy and you could see the sweat start to come out of their hands when they're locked up. And then he snaps the guy's hand and it's not just the fact that you see the bone come out, it's the sound the guy makes. Yeah. He, yeah! he starts screaming. Yeah. That terrified me as a kid to see this big burly man like just be destroyed. The ending always really got to me as a kid like where Brundlefly at this point <laughs> yeah. is halfway through the transporter mm -hmm. or the telepod. He's halfway through the telepod and then it kicks in and it transports part of the telepod and him to make one kind of just mangled mess of man and fly and machine at this point. With all those wires yeah. coming out of him and, and then shit. he takes the shotgun from Gina Davis and puts it towards it like just... Just to end oh, it. Oh, that's on. so fucking terrifying. Just like, end it. And terrible. what's going on in, in that thing's mind at that point? The one I have is Pieces. <laughs> that one, I never rented it, my mom did. Yeah. And just like, so, you know, and that was one of the things that we'd always go rent movies and she'd always, well, we both pick a horror movie. But I watched it at like five or six years old or whatever. And actually, it's like a guy killing people with a chainsaw yeah. is pretty scary yeah. when you're that young. There's quite a bit of blood in that movie, too. The visual effects of that. Jesus, and then you try to go to bed. There's people out there like that. Yeah. It's like, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I, that always scared the shit out of me as a yeah. kid. My second pick is uh, Fire in the Sky. Uh -huh. Being a kid in, in the 90s and Aliens was always kind of very frightening. You'd always watch sightings and mm -hmm. stuff like that and always be these you know, abduction stories and UFO sightings. And then this movie comes out and basically has the scariest abduction scene ever filmed and that just how can you sleep after watching that <laughs> fucking scene that is just so crazy i remember like every night like going to bed just thinking what if an alien comes to take me tonight i remember watching it once it was on tv and then i saw it it was on tv like later mm -hmm. like a couple of months later and i like nah I won't watch it. <laughs> really? I kind of chose not to watch because I knew it'd fuck me up again for a couple of days, right? See, I'm kind of. I was almost. It didn't. That movie didn't scare me that much. I was more intrigued by it. Yeah. But mostly because my dad always believes in aliens and yeah. stuff like that. And so he wanted to watch it. And so I watched it too. And I wasn't all that scared, but I was more just fascinated by it. Actually, what did scare me in terms of aliens and shit like that was Unsolved Mysteries. Yeah. yeah. That scared me. Yeah. Robert Stack's voice and the music. Yeah. yeah. And the fog when he's yeah. all standing in that, <laughs> yeah. those warehouses yeah. and all that. So what's your second pick for a movie that actually legit scared you? The Amityville Horror. Yeah. It actually did. For some reason, it really scared the shit out of me. And what really got me was the walls bleeding. So for me, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> it is ridiculous. It's scary. It, like... The funny thing is, is that it's even more ridiculous in the book because it's green slime. It's oh, not it? blood. <laughs> yeah, it was that, and there was a whole bunch of other things like the get out part, get out, yeah. all that type of stuff just got to me. And then I'm trying to sleep at night, and then like the doors open to the room, and you're you're thinking it's gonna close on its own. Yeah. 
I couldn't sleep for a week. I <laughs> couldn't sleep for a week? <laughs> it was probably about a good week, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, it really did a number on me. Like, not too many things really scared us as kids. And I think that's why we love horror movies, because we're not actually frightened by them, we're just more entertained by them. True, yeah. Right? And, and it's hard to come up with something, a horror movie that truly scared us and made an impression on us, because yeah. you just find the entertainment factor out of it more so. Most horror movie fans probably aren't scared of horror from the horror movie. It's yeah. just like, woo! I yeah, yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah. I found that entertaining yeah. more so than anything. Yeah. yeah. So if you guys have any horror movies that legit made you scared, made you lose sleep, <laughs> let us know in the comments. And until next time, <laughs> keep drinking.